Welcome to Nourish Technologies. I am Banga Raju and uh, this is the part 5 uh, video of your multi-threading. So, in this video, uh, I will demonstrate to you about locking, thread locking. What is this thread locking? Yeah, before that, in the last class, in the last video, I have just been demonstrated you about the join method, how to use the join method and why to use the join method. And right now, we will talk on yeah, we'll talk on thread locking. So I'm adding a class here called as thread locking. Okay, fine. I'll define a small method here, a simple method. Uh, till now, we are just writing all the methods as static and calling. Uh, suppose if the method is non-static, how to bind with a thread and how do we call? Let's just try to understand about the process here. Public. I'm not defining a static method. Void display is my method. In this method, I am just uh, trying to write console dot write line C sharp is an thread dot we did not import our namespace using system dot threading thread dot sleep 5 seconds. I am making it to sleep for 5 seconds. Again, I am writing console dot write line. First here, I will use write and here I am using write line and just writing here object oriented language. This is a simple method what I am writing. Okay, So, whenever I call this method, it is printing a C sharp is an object oriented language. So, this is what the output is going to be. Okay. And uh, you will have a doubt here, why is the thread dot sleep? I will tell you, we will just talk on that. But meanwhile, I want to call this method now. I want to call this particular method static void main. And now, the method is non-static method. So, we should call by creating the instance of the class. Thread locking obj is equals to new thread locking, the instance of a class. And next, obj dot display. And I want to call this method for three times. Set this as a startup class thread locking and execute the code. Actually, three times we called. So, what it has to print C sharp is object oriented language, C sharp is object oriented language, and C sharp is object oriented for three times. But let us watch the output. So, notice it first single threaded model now C sharp is an waiting for five seconds printed object oriented language, second method called waiting for 5 seconds, again called object oriented, again waiting for 5 seconds and going to print your object oriented language. So, we got the perfect output what we are expecting. Now, try to call this method for 3 times by using 3 separate threads, means multiple threads are trying to access the same resource. So, tomorrow in the real time environment this can happen when see generally servers like database servers, web servers, all these are multi-threaded environments. Okay? So, because they are multi-threaded environments, more than one thread will be accessing a resource at a point of time. So, this can happen for us in this databases, web servers, in all the cases, because they are multi-threaded environments, more than one thread can be accessing a resource. Okay? And right now, and uh, we know that, what is that the context switching? What is that context switching? Already in the first example of the multi-threading, I explained you what is it? Whenever you are trying to use multiple threads in your code, what will happen? Operating system will be sharing the time between each and every thread and the control will be transferred between the threads and basically that is called as a context switching that is going to happen. Now, when the context switching is not in our control, that is done by operating system. So, a thread is accessing a resource. Before it completes, suppose if the context switching is performed, what is going to happen, you know, at the same time, second thread also will try to access the same resource. So, here that what I try to simulate the things here, because my code is very simple, I use thread.slip. So, when I use thread.slip, one thread calls it, goes to sleep and already we know that. If a thread goes to sleep, automatically the next thread will come into picture and tries to call the method. 
So, if that is the scenario, what will be the output? Okay. Now, we will try to call these three methods by using three separate threads. Okay. So, till now, I was just only binding you static methods. In this example, I will show you how to bind the non-static methods. Fine. Let us create three threads. Thread T1 is equals to new thread. Simple. You cannot directly write the method name here. What you require to write is obj dot display. This is how you should bind now. Earlier we directly bound it, but right now we are calling, we are binding it by using the object. The reason is because the method is non-static and there is a rule. Non-static members of a class can never be accessed directly from a static block. They can be accessed only by using the instance of the class. Fine. T1 dot start. I started only one thread. When I started only one thread, the remaining two threads are not started. Watch it, you will get a perfect output because there is only one thread calling C sharp is an waiting for 5 seconds and printed object or into language. Now, let us start another thread now. Let us start one more thread. If you start the second thread and watch the output, say what is the output we are expecting and what is uh, the result we got here. Actually, what we expected C sharp is an object oriented language and C sharp is an object, but what is the printing C? C sharp is an, C sharp is an object oriented language came to next line printed object oriented language. Why it was printing the output like this? Understand? I have two threads created and both the two threads are started. T1 dot start control jumps to display method and printing you C sharp is an and afterwards it went to sleep. Tomorrow in the real time environment a context switch can occur that is not in our control that is why when it occurs because we do not know I was uh, trying to simulate the things by using thread dot sleep here. So, after printing C sharp is an okay, the thread goes to sleep for 5 seconds. So, meanwhile what the operating system will do will start the second thread now. The second thread will start now. So, second thread came off now and again it is also printing the value C sharp is an. So, both of them are printing and here we used to write because it is write both are printing the output on the same line. Okay? And afterwards second thread also went off to sleep. Watch it. Both the two threads started off and printing C sharp is an, C sharp is an. Both are in sleep now. After 5 seconds, first thread woke up and printed object oriented language, printed object oriented language. So, I got it and is a right line statement remember because of this the control came to next line and now the second thread woke up and printing you object oriented language. Okay? Watch, now start the third thread also. T3 dot start and you can understand what will be the output you know. First thread will start now and prints you C sharp is. It will start and prints you C sharp is an okay? and stops for 5 seconds. And when it goes to the sleep immediately second thread is starting off now and again printing you C sharp is an and went off to sleep. Now third thread is starting and again printing you what? C sharp is an and this also went off to sleep. After 5 seconds of time, thread 1 woke up and completed the rest of the job. What is it? Object oriented language. So, it is printing this rest of the code. What is that? Object oriented language. And remember, this is this particular statement. Total code is copied off. Okay. What it prints you? is an object oriented language and do remember because this is going to be because this is a right line statement because it right line statement control jumps to second line and now the second thread will wake up and prints the things to you as object oriented language and this is also right line statement jumps to next line and prints you. Run the program and see this is the output what we get now. C sharp is an, C sharp is an, C sharp is an, object oriented language, object oriented language, object oriented language.
say this is a normal method but tomorrow think like it is a database resource and one thread is trying to modify a record and at the same time if another thread is trying to modify the same record it will be a big problem. So, how to resolve this? How to resolve this? To resolve this problem we are provided with a locking mechanism. To resolve the problem we are provided with a locking mechanism. What is that locking mechanism? Simple. The code what is present inside the method can be locked. So, advantage, advantage is if you lock the code that is present inside the method what can ha what will happen is only one thread will be allowed to execute the appropriate code means no need to lock all the things now just this particular code if you lock because the problem is with that code. If you can lock this code the multiple threads what are running here cannot access this code at a time. One thread will be accessing the code and after the first thread accessing the code finishes then only the control goes to second thread and after the second thread execution is completed control goes to third. How to do it? Very simple lock it will ask you lock what? Lock and here you are just going to specify now what this that is it. Now, this code is going to be locked this code is going to be locked. When I say lock this, this code is going to be locked. Okay? Watch what is going to happen now. Start the execution. C sharp is n. You are getting the perfect output watch. How you are able to achieve it? Very simple. See, now what happens is, now also all the three threads will execute. Now, also because we have three threads, all the three will execute. But see what is going to happen. First, the first thread will start the execution and calls the method. Which method? Display. And prints the message here. What is the message? C sharp is an and goes to sleep for 5 seconds. And now, immediately that second thread will start the execution, but it cannot access this code. Why means? Because the code is put in a lock, only one thread is allowed to enter into the code now, into this block. Multiple threads cannot access this now. How many threads can access? Only one thread and one thread went inside and was sleeping there. And until it finishes and comes out, the second one cannot access the things now. So, waits for five and at the same time, third one also starts, but all are waiting outside the block cannot enter inside just like a telephone booth. If we just see a telephone booth, if one person enters into a telephone booth, the other people coming over there has to stand outside. The person inside the telephone booth is making a call and after he comes out only second one can enter. When first one is talking, the second one cannot go inside and enter and interrupt him now. So, compulsory has to wait there until the first one finishes his job and comes out. And once the first one completes and comes out of it, then only the second one enters exactly the same thing. The first thread went inside and sleeping there. Because it is sleeping there, until it comes out, the two end threads cannot access the resource. And now, after 5 seconds, the first thread woke up and completed the rest of the job. What is it? Printing you object oriented language and comes to next line because it is a right line statement. And once it finishes the job, immediately the thread 1 is coming out of the lock. Once it comes out of the lock, immediately thread 2 enters inside and now thread 2 has started the execution. Printed C sharp is an, went to sleep for 5 seconds. And a thread 3 is now trying to enter inside but cannot enter, has to wait. Now thread 2 woke up after 5 seconds and completed the rest of the job and once it is done comes to next line. Now thread 2 went out, thread 3 enters into the block and does the rest of the job. Printing you C sharp is n, waits for 5 seconds and afterwards prints you object oriented. And remember meanwhile if thread 4 starts that has to wait means the access to the resource is given to only one thread at a point of time. Multiple threads cannot access the resource. So, that is what we can do by using the locking. So, 
when we are going to deal with multi threading this is very one serious problem that will occur in the code what is it when multiple threads are trying to access the same resource problems comes into picture unexpected results will be coming so to overcome the problem you can just put the code inside in the lock block and once you put it in the lock block okay it will allow only one thread to access the code at a point of time others cannot access it okay now also execution starts here and afterwards the three threads are created passing the method name and now i am calling the stat and uh, the difference is earlier i was showing you all static methods so directly bound it but right now because there are non static methods i created a instance and bound the things okay so this is about locking how we go for locking the code or thread locking to overcome the problem of multiple threads accessing the same resource without getting any unexpected results thank you for watching the video for more videos please subscribe to our youtube channel naresh it